thing is, I love my job, but I kind of told a couple of white lies when I had my interview, you know, said I had experience and stuff I hadn't. Like what? Well, saying I used to do bar work, and now Leanne keeps threatening to have some cocktail night, mm. so I thought I'd get some practice in. No, I don't like those mystery cocktails, me. I like to know what's in my drink. Mm. Oh, two parts vodka, mm. one part lemonade and a splash of lime. I like to call it Stephanie. Oh, that's well nice. Mm. So, what were you saying about your dad and Annie? Oh, there's just really bad atmosphere. I was doing my head and I couldn't wait to get out of there. Oh, you're back early. And they didn't show up. Oh, do you want a Stephanie? No. no. Oh, It's, um, Lizzie, please. Um, yeah, she's out the back. Do you want me to fetch her? Actually, no. Don't, don't disturb her. It's all right. Mum, you've got to sort this. Yeah, right. Um, can you just tell her I'd like a word, please? Yeah, of course. You, my friends, have got front row seats for Mum's big public grovelling apology to Liz. Oh, I'm not doing it now. Hey, come on. All right, you guys? Hey, Dad. You all right? Can I buy anyone a drink? Uh, no, you're all right, thanks. So Hardy decided he's a City fan. Yeah? Uh, yeah. Yeah. All his friends are Reds. <laughs> you know, I'm a Red, Mary's a Red. You're a Red? Yeah. Never heard you talk about football, Dav. Oh, you know, recent convert. Glory seeker. <laughs> right. Yeah. Uh, do you think you can help me out a little bit here? Because I really am trying. I really don't know what you're on about, Dev. He's right, you're not normally one to bear a grudge. Move on, will ya? I have. So, who do you reckon's gonna win the league? Hi, Tina, it's me again. Uh, can you ring me back? I need to speak to you. Listen, I'm really sorry about tonight. You know, I wanted to take you away, and I will, okay? I, I promise. Just. Please call me back. Bye. I'm uh, much to the west coast of Ireland for Easter, County Cork. My wife's from around there, so we go back every year. It's beautiful. Island, that is. Not my wife. Look, can I ask you a related question? Yeah, sure. How long before the Sparks can come and do the first fix? Oh, no! No way! You should leave it unlocked, did you? Well, of course I didn't. Mate, somebody's nicked all my tools. Um, oh, not again. Uh. Hey, love. Look back, Hurley. Yeah, he blew me out. Went all the way to Cheadle as well. So, look at this. How's the cooking, eh? Is that a dick? No. You know I'm a rubbish cook and I'm just trying to do my best here, aren't I? More a Stretford wife than Stepford. Mm. <laughs> this doesn't smell right. Why couldn't your favourite meal be beans on toast or some... I mean, Indonesian. You know that the ingredients are in Indonesia. I mean, what am I meant to do? Nip over? I'd have been very happy with beans on toast, love. Yes, well, I was trying to do something special for a change, wasn't I? Oh. Have you come to have another go? I was going to... Oh, do you know what? Forget it. I mean, she's not exactly being gracious, is she? I'm off. No, you're not. She's come to apologise. Oh. Oh. Well, I shall enjoy this. Well, come on, I'm waiting. Well, there's no need to milk it. I shall relish it. I shall treasure it. Uh, she will change her mind. Mm. Yeah, you're right. Sorry. It's a very welcome gesture. Sorry. Vodka and coke, please. That was the quietest, shortest, most pathetic apology I have ever heard. But I accept it. Oh, call me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what was that? A swish of an olive branch. Graciously offered. Graciously accepted, if I may say so, girls. They see. 
you should follow your mother's fine example. Oh, I, yeah. Uh, you're well out of order. No. Oh. Do I go and sulk when you buy a four pack of lager from Top Tipple? Well, yeah, but they're miles cheaper. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Listen, guys. What I'm saying is that we're supposed to be proper friends, yes? And we should be able to rise above this. Yeah, I'm milking it a little bit, babe. Dev. <laughs> Dev. Back on, mate. This is it all. Yeah. I'm coming, man. It's gonna be dinner soon. Surely you can't eat any more ice cream. This stuff's addictive. I could eat another tub. Hey, how is your girl tonight? Don't talk to me. What's that about? Tim, don't <coughs> drink from the car. Mm, sorry, love. <coughs> Not too loud. Oh, she won't mind. I don't want to get on the wrong side of her. I've only been showering a few days. Listen, this is my night off. You want to let me air down? I know. I just feel like I can't let go with her there. Do you think she was all right? She seemed a bit miserable when she came in. Yeah, she can be a bit grumpy, like up and down. And... Oh, I've got to do me that. Do me head in. Yeah, she's nice most of the time. I know. We'll turn it up a notch. Don't bother her. We'll turn it up another notch. Idea. <laughs> Too loud. No, no, not loud enough, more like. Uh, is there any more of that cocktail going? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep, yep, right. Well, I'll be here. What do they say? Huh? Oh, they're sending someone over. Wasted time. It's obviously kids. They'll be flogging them down the local by now. I'm taking everything. Yeah, I'm screwed. I haven't got enough tools to finish the job. Yeah, but stuff can be replaced, right? I mean, you're insured, right, Graham? I'll get down the pub if you like. Hey, mate, it's not funny. Look, I'm only doing this as a favour to your dad. But you can't walk out on us, Graham. Lads, I've worked on some of the toughest areas in Manchester and I've never had out like this. It's I've a good been... area, right? It's the third business I've opened here. Yeah, right, well, I've been targeted then, aren't I? I wasn't making enough profit on this job as it was. You can't walk off a job halfway through. Mm. That's excellent, that, though. It's a good effort. I think you could have chopped that ginger a little bit more finely, though, you know. It's a bit. It's a disaster. Mm. I can't cook. I should just accept it. <sighs> I can't do a lot of things, can I? Not the things you can do. You're amazing at. I vote we skip pudding, what do you say? We haven't got any. Good. And I'll run you a nice bath. Mmm, thanks, sweetheart. Listen, I'm sorry about the food. It's just ah. I'm trying to do something nice, you know, and should we save the rest or should we in it or Oh, uh, do you know what? I think you can have too much of a good thing. Any, um, chocolate? Sorry, there's two biscuits in the cupboard. Yeah, both yours, as you pointed out this morning. Flatmate wanted, share rent and bill, but not your biscuits. Uh, she doesn't buy them, but then you scoff them when I'm not here. <gasps> no, I do not. Is this your first domestic? No, no, this is just establishing house rules. Oh, like not leaving hair clogged in the sink. <laughs> oh, this could get ugly. <laughs> oh, I've got a massive craving now. But right, you know the best thing about stopping at Rita's? Is you could go downstairs and nick midget gems. Oh, I love midget gems. Mm. You okay? Yeah? You know, I was just thinking, me and Ches, we went months before we had our first domestic. Whereas Ryan, God, he was hopeless from the start. He did have his uses, though. Oh, <laughs> too much information. <laughs> Not enough information. That's why I'm single now. <laughs> well, I'm off, men. Oh, yeah, yeah. Hey, that's it. That's why she's grumpy. She's not getting any. Uh, who's been saying I'm grumpy? What have you been saying? Nothing. Right now, we are going to have a domestic. All I said was that I worry about you. I mean, you were in a foul mood when you came in. Yes, because I had a row with my mate. What about? Yeah, tell us. I don't want to talk about it. You can. No, I'm not going to say anything. She's seen a married man. Oh. I 
come sorry if I was a bit funny before. I would have been worried about you if you weren't. So if there's some lasagna in the oven, if you want it. Oh, don't drink from the car. Mm. Terrible manners. What was upsetting you, anyway? Nothing. Do we get that, love? Hello? Maddie, what has happened to you? Phone. Well, why didn't you go back to the shelter? Why are you asking that? She's come here, we've got her help her. Yeah, but it's not our responsibility. Mum, she's hurt. Don't worry, I'll go. No. I think we'd better get you down the hospital. Get off me, I'll be fine. Maddie, you're not. You look awful. Come on. Come on, I'll run you down in the van. Are you coming? Oh, I love your chips. <laughs> Everybody loves my chips, especially our Gary, you know, and if he's going to be working all the hours for no money, he may as well have his favourite tea. Where are they, anyway? They should have been back hours ago. Oh, I don't know. I hope there's not been any more trouble. Mm. Hey, what do you get for for a birthday? Well, a big present, a telly for a bedroom. Mm. I got it before, you know. And I was going to take it back and get it somewhat cheaper, but I, I just didn't have the art. We got rid of DVD. Oh. Hiya. Where have you been? She's been back ages ago. You have asked us to work late. We were happy to oblige. You know, they're performing seals with better working conditions. Oh, well, you're home now, eh? And at least you've got the weekend to look forward to. I made your favourite tea. All right. Go on. I shouldn't have said anything. She's going to go mad. So, you fell out with this... Cheryl. And you think what she's doing is wrong, or, or what? Well, well, yeah, I mean, don't you? She's sleeping with a married man. Well, I think she's daft. Why is it some people are never happy with what they've got? They always want to mess about. Are you looking at me? No, not everything is about you. Me and Chess were still kids when we got together, and then we had a baby. Just too much too soon. And I tried to get him back, but he moved on. You and Chess weren't even married. What this girl's doing is far worse. It'll end in tears. Hers. I need one of those biscuits. She sort of apologised anyway. Good. And then I forgot one. Todd? A uh, bottle of lager, please, Tony. Coming up. And a bottle of lager, please. You stuck behind here all night. Why? What did you have in mind? Curry. <laughs> you know, I can't believe this. What, a builder from Manchester walking off a job at a first sign of trouble with? <laughs> We'll never get the place open. What's happened, lads? What party? It's not a party. She's just having a few friends round for her birthday. It's six people! Oh, six. Right, OK. Oh, I know, I just thought... I, I, no, it's listen, fine. I did, I Love, you. it's fine. I thought we agreed we need to throttle back. I know, but it's her birthday. So bake a cake. We do not have to have half the school round, love. It's a few girls. Mm. We can cut back in other ways after her birthday. And anyway, I don't see why she should be the one that has to suffer just because... Because I screwed everything up. I didn't say that. It's what you're thinking, though, isn't it? It's what you think every time you look at me. I just wish that you'd kept your fists to yourself. All right, all right, love. <laughs> We had everything riding on this job, Gary. And now you've only just gone and made it worse. I think your fares have overrated me. <coughs> Had enough, have we? Yeah? There we go. So, how long has it been going on, then? Your mate and this married bloke? Not long. A couple of months on and off. I'm going to give it six months max until he chucks her in that scrap heap. You're so cynical. How do you know that they're not into each other? It sounds like he's into himself. This is going to end badly. It always does. Well, we've just had this amazing two weeks together, like a proper couple. I mean, they're not just doing it for the excitement. It's something more. They go, Deb. Thank you. 
That's what I've just found out. Their builders just walked off the job. Really? What? Van got broken into and all the gear's been stolen. No. Yeah, get your blue flashing light on and get over there. You reckon? You can name your prize. They're desperate. He's right. Why should I? They must mess me about. Just get over there. I heard you guys have had a spot above her. Oh, you come and gloat? No, <sighs> I've come here to help. I'm sorry I got upset. Are you okay getting back? Yeah. Yeah. See you later, Tina. Bye. Bye. <sighs> you still thinking about your friend? We're really good mates. I don't want to see you get hurt. And I know he's messing her about. I don't know why she does it to herself. I mean, she's clearly got no self-respect. How old is she? My age. And she's got her whole life ahead of her. She does not need to be wasting her time on some married man. Well, maybe she thinks he's worth it. Nah. Nah, he'll never commit. She'll be the one that gets dumped. She needs to finish it. You tell her to bin him off. I will. I've been in this place so many times they are gonna name a ward after me. There'd have been one less I could have had him. Oh yeah, whatever. I think I've got a correct rib. Oh. Sorry. Did you take your bracelet then? I wouldn't let them have it. I don't know why, it's only a cheap bit of bling. Stop my oar in, but it's turned out okay. <laughs> right, well, I'm gonna get off. As am I. Good work, bro. <laughs> Cheers, mate. Right. What's up? I thought you'd get chuffed. Yeah, I'm pleased. Of course, I'm pleased. It's just you don't think he had out to do with the van getting done in, do you? Your dad? No, why would he? Yeah, you're right. It's uh, it's madness. <laughs> <laughs> Good old Jason, eh? Riding to the rescue like that. You know, we're so lucky he was around to pick up the pieces when Graham walked out. I think you'll find Jason is not a quitter. Gets his head down, sees things through. Just like his dad. You're outside the gym area. Wait, you didn't see anything suspicious? Sorry, mate, no. If I find out who did it, they'll have me to answer to. Will they now? What was all that about? We were just having a friendly chat. Trying to ring you all night. I know. I'm, 
I'm sorry, Tina. So, are, are we okay? But I am... Um, I can't cope with this anymore. Peter, I love you. the reaction I was hoping for. It's okay, you can go home. Good night. Find out how they relocated the world's most famous cobbles. Coronation Street, a moving story is available now on ITV Player. It's Friday Night Comedy on the way next. Stay with us and check into Edge of Heaven in just a few minutes.